Spanish way with the onions, vinegar, and oil, and, and my baby seasoned it because his seasonings are way better than mine. He okay. gives it that nice it's touch. It's not a baby. I just put a little bit of adobo. This is how I do it. I do it by eye. Then I take a little bit of garlic and I do the same. He does, always do he it does by each eye. steak individually, yeah. Mm -hmm. You always do you do that with all your meat, right? You yes. Season everyone individually. Then I put a little oregano in it. You did the other side already? Yes. I do both sides like this. Then I put a little bit of cilantro. The cilantro flakes? Yes. Okay. You don't need too much. Let me see the bottom. Cilantro leaves, okay. Then you take sasson. One pack of sasson? One pack of sasson, that's all you need. Really is for coloring, but you know. That gives that a nice and flavor. And a little too. flavor. Yeah. What I do is I put a little bit on each. I really put it like this all on one side. Oh, you just use one pack for both sides, yeah, okay. You know, and then what I do is I turn one side around and then I put this that's on side on top of this and like that. Oh, so have all and sides. And I keep it, yeah, so all sides it can have it, both yeah. sides could have it. Right, good idea. That's all. I keep it, do it like this. Mm, and that's my season. They smell that's so it. good. So we're gonna let them marinate and then I'm gonna cook them with onions. Put a little olive oil and vinegar. I'm going to do that now. We're going to put that in a bowl and let, let it marinate in oil yes. and vinegar. Mm -hmm. And then when I cook it, I'll slice some onions and cook them with the onions. Yes. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Just blending in everything. Mm. I'll take a little water and I sprinkle it around so the sasson could spread out. Yeah, and once I put my oil and vinegar, I'm going to you mm -hmm. know mix it all up again so everything's going to have all the flavors in it. Oh, it smells so good. And this is without sofrito, but we, you know, we have our own seasonings that make it taste good without the yeah. so The cilantro, the cilantro leaves help, you know? Yeah, you make yeah. your own sofrito, you yeah. can put it on it just like I did yeah. this. Yeah, well, I have stuff that I want to put on it. You know, the, um, mm -hmm. the cilantro leaves and the regal that mm -hmm. I chopped up, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we sliced the half onion here just so it can marinate. I put some vinegar and some olive oil. I'm gonna let this marinate for about an hour. And then when I cook it, I'm gonna slice another onion on top of it and let it cook. Steaking, I put my steak in and I cut another onion up and put it on here. We like onions. I'm just gonna let this cooking there, simmering there. I'm going to turn them around a little bit. I'd say maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, because this cooks fast, this steak, but you want it, you don't want it hard, you want it tender, so you want it low flame, and cook it at low flame. I'll tell you how much it took. 20 minutes. Okay, this is my steak. It's been cooking for 20 minutes. Turned them over and I kept the onions on top so they don't break up too much. You leave it under the steak, it'll just break up. Um, I'm gonna give it another five minutes. You see that juice, look at that nice juice in there. You pour that over the steak when it's done. Mm. So, all in all, I'd cook this at least 30 minutes. 